Hi everyone, in this video we're going to review major key signatures. Not totally in-depth, just a few quick tips and tricks for how to identify and write your major key signatures. And the first main piece of information that you need to do that, I think, is what we call the order of sharps and the order of flats. And here's how I think you should remember it. B, E, A, D, G, C, F or some students like to remember it as bead greatest common factor, B-E-A-D-G-C-F. Now, when we go this way, that is the order of flats, meaning that when a key signature has flats, it appears in that order. First B, and then E, and then A, and then D, etc. There's no major key signature that contains just D and G sharp. They're cumulative from the beginning, B, and then E, and then A, and then D, etc. When you go this way, starting with F, that is the order of sharps, F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Meaning when you have a sharp key signature, the first sharp is F and then F and C and then F, C, and G. Same thing. It's cumulative. So how can you use this to help you? Well, for flat key signatures, the rule you need to remember is the second last flat is the key. The second last flat is the key. So let's take a look at an example here. Say I gave you this key signature. The second to last flat is the key. Okay, well, A flat's the last flat. E flat's the second to last flat. So that means that the key is E flat major. Key is E flat major. Um, so this works for everything except when there's only one flat, because then there's not a second to last flat. So when there's one flat, if the last flat's B, what would come before that? You actually go back around to the other side of the order of sharps and flats, and you get F, and that's how you know this is F. It's good to just memorize that one. It's good to memorize all of these, really. But So that's the rule for flats. The second to last flat is the key. So let me scroll down here and try to give you some examples that you can try to name. Okay, so here's a few keys. Why don't you pause it and try to identify these using second to last flat as the key, and then we'll go over them. Okay, so this first one, second to last flat is here. This is the key of A flat. This next one, second to last flat is here. That's the key of G flat. Second to last flat is B flat, second to last flat is D flat. So that's for those keys. So that's flats. The second to last flat is the key. All right, sharp keys now, sharp keys. Up a half step from the last sharp is the key. Up a half step from the last sharp is the key. All right, so let's try that out. Say I give you a key signature with sharps that looks like that. Up a half step from the last sharp, okay? Well, the last sharp here is G sharp. Up a half step from that is gonna be the pitch A. So this is the key of A. The letter always needs to change. Good to visualize your piano keyboard, right? Up a half step from the last sharp is the key. Okay, so why don't we practice a few of those? There you go. There's some sharp keys. Pause the video. Up a half step from the last sharp is the key. Go ahead and name them. All right, here we go. Last sharp's C sharp. Up a half step from C sharp is D. That's the key of D. Last sharp here is D sharp. Up a half step from that is E. Last sharp here is E sharp. E sharp. Up a half step from that is F sharp. And the last and only sharp is F sharp. Up a half step from that is G. So there's your rules for identifying major key signatures. For flats, the second to last flat is the key. And for sharps, up a half step from the last sharp is the key. All right, now I want to ask you how we can do this using these rules to help us write these key signatures. So say you were asked to write the key signature for A flat major. 
how can I use the rule the second to last flat is the key to write a flat major? Well, if the second to last flat is the key, that would mean if I start writing flats in the order of flats until I get to A flat and then go one more, then I would have the key signature for A flat because A flat would be the second to last. So recall B E A D G C F. So I'm going to start writing flats. B E a flat. Okay, I got to A flat. That's the key that I'm trying to name. So I need to write one more flat, B, E, A, D. Now A flat is the second to last flat, meaning that it's the key. All right, so let me give you a few uh, flats that you can try to write. All right, why don't you write D flat and E flat and B flat major. Okay, go ahead, pause and do those. So remember how we do this. We write flats in the order of flats until we get to the key we're trying to name, and then we go one more. Okay, and the order of flats, again, is B, E, A, D, G, C, F. So here we go. B, E, A, D, there's D, go one more, G. That's a key signature for D flat. Next one, B, E. There's E flat. Go one more, A flat. Next for B flat, B flat. Oh, I got B flat. So now I only go one more, E flat. That's how you write them for flats. Now for sharps, up a half step from the last sharp is the key. Up a half step from the last sharp is the key. So how can I use that to help me write them? Well, start writing sharps in the order of sharps until you get to the note that is the half step away from the key that you are trying to write. So remember the order of sharps and start writing. So here's our order of sharps in reverse. I'm going to erase it to make some room for myself and give you some keys to write. So let's try D major. So I'm going to start writing sharps in the order of sharps until I get to the note that is a half step away from D. Okay, F sharp, half step away from that is G, so not yet. C sharp, half step away from that is D, so I'm done. There's my sharp key. All right, a couple more for you to do. How about E and B and C sharp? Okay, pause and do those. E major. Half step away from that. Okay, so F sharp, half step away from that is G. C sharp, half step away from that is D. G sharp, half step away from that is A. And D sharp, half step away from that is E. I'm done. Okay, B sharp, B sharp. Half step away from, or not from B sharp, from B. A half step away from B is going to be A sharp. Down a half step. You might be thinking B flat on the piano, but it has to have a different letter, so call it A sharp. So I'm going to start writing sharps until I get to A sharp. F, C, G, D, and A sharp. A sharp's a half step away from B. C sharp, okay, well, let's get going here. F sharp, no, C sharp, G, D, we've already tested those. A, half step up from A sharp is B, so we're not quite there yet. F, C, G, D, A. E, up a half step from E sharp is F sharp, so not yet. B sharp, up a half step from B sharp is C sharp, so we're done. That's how you use the rules to help write major key signatures. Remember the two rules. For flats, the second to last flat is the key. And for sharps, up a half step from the last sharp is the key. Okay, real quick, I just want to show you, because it's important where you write it, where the locations of these have to go on the staff. So for treble clef, the order of sharps, B, E, A, flats rather, D, G, C, and F, have to go in those locations. They can't go in other octaves. And for sharps, have to go F, C, G, D, A, E, and B. That's where they have to go. You can't put the G sharp down the octave. It like doesn't, doesn't work that way. This is the standardized way to talk about this. And in bass clef, B, E, 
A, D, G, C, F, and F, C, G, D, A, E, B. That's the only location those sharps and flats can go in the treble and the bass clef. Okay? All right, there's a real quick review for you on writing and identifying major keys.